Our relationship with the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association goes back many years to the time with Dr. Stepman, and from his relationship with that team, it's blossomed into a very special relationship with the United States Olympic Committee, where we have uh, open access to their athletes and a particular specialty in managing professional athletes. Virtually all USSA athletes, regardless of where they are in the world, have a physician available to them. We have a pool of over 300 volunteers who travel throughout the world with the U.S. Ski Team, virtually all the venues. Before going to Vancouver or Sochi or the other Olympic Games I've been involved with, I've made multiple site visits ahead of time. I've already been over a couple of times to South Korea, getting to know the, the local lay of the land the hospitals, the routes, the capabilities, and in particular, the, the, the people that are involved, the medical personnel that are local on the ground to make sure that their capabilities match what we consider standard of care in the United States. And if they can't get that kind of care there, then we figure out a way to get those athletes out and get them home. I've done two trips to South Korea. The goal was to put together EAPs, or emergency action plans, in order to figure out what to do if an athlete does have an injury. They're going a little harder than they might go for, say, a World Cup. You know, they're, they're always going at 100%, but for them, this is going to make or break a career. They're going to be putting it all on the line. It is just an incredible experience to be surrounded by that energy, that excellence that, that everyone is uh, sort of exuding in their positions. It's really a privilege. You know, I'm not in the Marines or the Air Force or the Army, and, and this is a way that I can see or that I can use some of my skill set to further the goals of, of our nation through sport.